beast, isn't they? Chuff the bits. The smallest little thorn back there. I'm just concentrating on not leaving the rod over the side. And his eyes. He's got amazing eyes. Doggy in the boat. Called him, man. There's a bit of weight to that, you know. And that's what we want, don't we? We don't want the same, same all the time. We want something different. A good old show. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm out on the beach, beavering away. It's a glorious evening. Absolutely stunning. Friday evening, April, mid-April, and I'm at Hordle. What are we up to, Mark? Well, quite, quite respectfully, I'm fishing the uh, Any Fish Anywhere Match Pros, coupled up with the Pen Fathom Star Drag, size 12s. Um, you can get them in 15s and 12s. I've got the 12s. 14 pound main line, uh, 70 pound shock leader, all the lines by Asso. And what have I got out there? Well, one rod, the left rod, I've pushed out at distance, and I've got a five foot pulley with three O hooks. Double sand eel pushed out there. And the other rig, I'm fishing two of these alternate, take a bit of time to, to bait up. I've just got a two hook clip down. Two hook clip down with size 2.0 fine wire hooks. And I'm only putting half a sand eel, so I'm cutting one sand eel in half, half a sand eel, half a sand eel, six ounce grip weight. And that one's not going out far. That one's only going about 40 yards. The distance one, I'm not a big caster, 90, 100, something like that. Um, so that's big enough for me. So that's what I'm up to. I'm fishing two of these rigs alternate. So I'm sitting here baiting one up and then swapping over and then the other one slow time. I'm not running two pulley rigs at the moment. I don't want to burn through my bait. I've only got three pack of sand eel, nothing else. No worm, no mackerel, no squid, pure sand eel. That's what I'm after. I think there's a chance of a bass, possibly. I hope there's no doggies tonight. And I'd like a small eye. A small lie on a small tide, because it is a small tide tonight. Um, and it has to be fished here on a small tide, because I may even get pushed off the beach. I'm trying to judge it by the tide line. It's an easy escape route. It's literally right behind me. Step up onto the wall and you're out of it. But it's a northerly wind, so I'm actually really sheltered here. I've got a wall and beach huts, and the wind's coming over the top. And I think it's flattening off the sea, to be honest, because it is flat calm just off the initial shore. So the right rod is close in, lined up with the pillar at the end of the groin. The left rod, it's been pushed out and the tide has swung it round slightly, but it is holding. So that's what I'm up to. I will do a little bait up in a bit because it's a little bit different than what we normally do. It's a very simple rig. We can have a look at it in a little bit more depth in a minute. But yeah, that's me all set up. Good to go. Got about an hour until sunset and we've got three hours until high water. So we're fishing the three hours of the flood. High water slack, possibly a little bit down. But if I've had enough or we've caught loads or I've run out of bait, <laughs> you know the score. <laughs> It could be anything. But I'm also looking, the way this sea's looking now, I'm looking for tomorrow from the boat. So I might be back home midnight tonight, up at four, prepping the boat. Because right opposite me now is the needles, and I fancy he's a bass. Big old bass from the boat. Enough of my jibber-jabbering. I'm going to get on and do some fishing. Looks like we're in. <laughs> that was a weird bite. Are in? Yeah. Let's see what we got. Very strange bite, that. Very strange bite. <laughs> I 
Maybe it's not a doggy. It's a bit of a lazy bite. Got some weight to it though. Wonder if we've already got our target. Oh no, yeah, yeah, we have as well. We have one small eye. It just goes to show that those smaller baits and that tiny little hook, albeit with a smaller small eye. So we'll just get that hook out of him. Right in the corner of his mouth, look, I'm gonna have to get a disgorger for that, make it easier on myself. Yeah look. Small eye ray. That didn't take long, did it? <laughs> That's the first of the evening. Just to give you an idea of the size of the bait that that took, that is the other one on the same rig. Let's get this hook out of him. Oh, bub. There we go. Just popped out. We're going to let this little critter back. Oh. A little bit dicey. Just got to judge this. There we go, mate. He's away. He's gone. <laughs> One small load ray. So just to give an idea, those hook snoods are about 18 inches long. The whole rig's about five foot. And it took, believe it or not, the top hook. You can see where he's mashed up all the bait and how small that hook is. And he took the top hooker though. So all this nailing it to the bottom and if they're actively hunting sand eel, I think they're quite mobile. I think they're quite aggressive. Probably more aggressive than we give them credit for, to be honest. And that was the closer of the two. So guess what I'm up to now? I'm gonna rebake this rig, because it's proven. And little adjustments can make a big difference. The other rig I've got ready, I'm going to put that one on the other rod. I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer. They may be in closer on the feed. So I'm going to prep this one and get this one out. <laughs> that was quick, wasn't it? I've only been here 40 minutes, I think. It doesn't usually happen like that. Right, let's get myself sorted out. Look at that for frame shot, for pretty as a picture. <laughs> Right, let's have a look at a bait up of what I've just done with that rig. So I'm just gonna finish cleaning it up. It's a bit of elastic on these, so there's a little bit to take off. They do take a little while to prep. And as always, just keeping on my other rod now. As always, I've got two cloths. I've got one wet cloth, keep my hands clean, and I've got a dry cloth keep my hands dry. Dry hands are usually warm hands. Right, going to hook that on, get one sand eel, keeping them frozen as long as I can. Bait condition, bait prep, it's quite important here now. So I think I bought these from Baits R Us in Portsmouth and they're lovely sand eel. So I'm just head and tail. Once I've head and tailed it, judging the center. So I've ended up with a smaller than a finger bait. Small hook, can't remember what size that is. It's not a 1-0. And a nearly frozen sand eel takes a little bit of massaging to get on the hook. And what you're trying to do Feed it all the way round, round the shank of the hook, 
pierce the skin and just cover the hook. But that will not stay on and the hook will turn. So using some fine bait elastic, at the end only, I take a couple of turns and then a couple of turns around the eye of the hook using my fingers to guide it to where I want it. It's quite fiddly, especially if you've got sausage fingers like me. A couple of turns of the hook, a couple of turns of the eye of the hook. Even up over the knot if need be. And then back onto the sand eel again. And then back onto the eye of the hook. And what does that give us? It gives us a little bait that will stay there. That's all we're asking it to do. We want it to stay there. When we cast it out, we don't want it shooting up the line. We don't want it sliding down over the hook point, masking the hook point. That hook up was lovely, right in the scissor of the mouth. So that's the first one, one of two. Second one, hook it on, feed it over the bend of the hook, and pop it out just before the bottom. And that brings you right up to the eye of the hook and the knot. Lovely little bait. It looks like it's gonna work, doesn't it? Sometimes you look at something and you think, oh, that ain't gonna work. And it does. Sometimes you look at something and it just looks right. Like those lovely colored doors behind me. They look good, don't they? Bit of color in shot. That's buoyed me up because this evening looks fishy. It feels fishy, the whole thing. It just, I don't know, just feels right. It does just feel right. So I've just mirrored that exact same thing. And I'm going over the eye of the hook. And only over the top, I'm not doing the rest of it. It's a very delicate small bait really. And that's the second one. So as always, when we come to do these things, it's not going to want to clip up, we know that, but it's an imp, so you can turn it upside down. Imp me up, baby. That's one clipped in the imp. Just trying to spin up, and then I'm going to clip this second one up. into the cascade swivel. He says as it spins on me, and that's it. So it's a five foot rig, I'm holding it in the middle. That's the top hook clipped up. That's the bottom hook clipped up. And that fish took the top hook close in. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna get this on, get this out. If you can see that post to the right, I'm aiming to not be much further than that. That's my marker. And I really don't want any distance on this. I want it fairly close in. And just so I saw it go out then, I just thumbed the spool. And I've literally positioned it about 10, 15 feet away from that post to the left of it and just passed it. And just controlled it going out because I think that's more likely where the bass are going to be. But that's where that small live was. If you just look to the left of shot, that's the needles. Um, and the Isle of Wight, that's what you can see in the distance. And that bait I've just dropped in really close to that post, just to the left of it. I'm gonna bring my other big rig in now and swap it over. It is uh, just coming up for eight o'clock. Sunsets has just gone eight o'clock. So it's that whole piece now where we get ready for darkness. We're gonna be on head torches soon. Um, I've had one more bite that didn't develop and I've rigged up another um, or I've baited up another two hook clip down. So I'm fishing one pulley rig, about four and a half, five foot long, double sand eel, 
pushed out. And I haven't had anything on that, not even a touch. The other one, which is close to the post that you saw me cast out earlier. Um, I had a little bit of a rattle on that earlier on, but it didn't develop. So I'm thinking of putting both out at that sort of distance once it gets dark. That's what I'm going to try for. Um, and I may alternate, alternate the, the, the double sand here on the bigger rig. Hoping it will pick out a bigger fish. Hoping it will pick out a bigger smaller. I'm looking at the sunset over there. There's a guy fishing off the rocks. Bass fishing, I'm guessing. It's stunning. I'm not going to put that on camera because that might be his, his special little mark. And I don't want to upset people. But yeah, that looks, that is a picture. Paints a picture. Red sky and someone bass fishing. Maze balls. Right. I'm going to sort myself out and hopefully we'll be back in a bit. And I was daydreaming. I wasn't even looking at the rod. I actually heard the clicker go. Oh, am I in or not? <laughs> Yes, we are. <laughs> what was that? That went crazy. Oh, uh, Tripsy. Yeah, whatever this is, it's not keen. Wow. What have we got here? Oh, we have got another small eyed ray. Oh, that was frisky. That's a bit better than the last one. Oh, that was a good bite. Same rig as last time, look. Oh, he's taking that as well. Let's have a look where he's got that. Might have to get the disgorger out. I can't actually see that. Right, I'll unhook him. But yeah, a little bit bigger than the last one. It's not a big fish by any imagination. But they're cracking. That was a good bite as well. Proper frisky. Clicker went and then slack lined. Maybe we just have a look. The size of the bait he took. Uh, let's have a quick look. So that's the other one of the two hook clipped. Only a tiny half a sand hill. That's all he's taken. Right. I'm going to get this little critter unhooked. Let's get the disgorger. That certainly got my attention. That was a cracking little bite, that one. Very energetic. Okay, so I'm going to use that Gemini Disgorger. Um, so the only difference with that, with the Gemini Disgorger, you get to push the hook before you pull it back. Let's get the last those stones off you. I'm going to go and get this little creature back. <laughs> what a stunner. I do like them. I love a ray, you know. They're proper predators in miniature, this one. It's a female. So they seem to be the same stamp. So that's a small eyed number two. Same rig, same setup. Get these little stones off you. Right, I'm going to go and get this one back. Just quickly check my other rod, make sure nothing else is going on. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so two. So we get this one back in. It's dark now, as you can tell. We're on head torches. And it's got cold as well. Temperature's dropped. Um, Gonna fish maybe for about another hour or so, and then there's a McDonald's with my name on it on the way home. I think today, <laughs> so I'm gonna get this critter back. Yeah, cracking. So that, ray, that rig's working really well, isn't it? We're liking that. Seems to be zeroing them out. And both times, they've been on the top hook, not on the bottom hook. 
Now I would have thought I'm always concentrating my ray fishing on the bottom. These are taking the top hook and admittedly, you know, with the line down to the, it will be near to the bottom. But I suppose, I'm trying to think it through. I'm guessing sand eels come up and, f and swim in the bottom couple of feet of water. And maybe these are just hitting them like that. I don't know. But it's working. So I'm going to do it again. See if we can get a bigger old one, eh? Just had a knock on the left rod. But not your typical bite. Certainly not your typical bite. That was a bit strange, that. I just looked up and Rob was bent over. There's nothing there now. Interesting now to see what the bait looks like. See if it's been trashed. Let's have a look. Remember, I'm still only fishing these small baits. Yeah, something's hit that top one. It's that top one each time, isn't it? Two hook clipped, and each time it's the top bait getting, getting hit. Right, let's sort this out. Yeah, it's a strange old game tonight. Not what I would have expected at all. Just keep an eye on my other rod. But yeah, two hook clipped and each time the top bait's getting hit. Can't figure it out myself, to be honest. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Leave something in the comments. Um, why does the top bait keep getting hit? Rods are quite high up as well. So, you know, it's not like I'm laying the rods low and the bait's really hard pressed against the bottom. It's got to be up there somewhere. Um, but yeah, there's two fish on the top hook and that one got hit and spat but the bait, the bait was mashed up on the top hook interesting isn't that different that pulley rig's getting bumped around a little bit by something something's having a go at it there you go look there's something there oh and that one's got something on it as well <laughs> right so is that slack lined yeah something there slack lined That one's only just gone out. Literally just gone out. And there's something mucking around with that one, but I think the bait might be too big. Yeah, both rods going at the same time. We are close to the top of high water now. That one's going up. That second rod's going. And this one's got something kiting off to my right. I don't think it's big. Just coming in on the surf now. It's another small eye. Oh, it's a tiny one. That is tiny. And unusually, this one's on the bottom hook. <laughs> Energetic little bite, that. That was, a, that was a cracking little bite for such a small fish. They really do give a count of themselves. Something's definitely having a go at that other bait. Let's have a look at this one. So this one literally has only been in for a couple of minutes. And it's right in the corner of the mouth. Let's see if we can get that hook out of you. Come on, bud. I can't see because I've got my head torch off, look. There we go, that's out. That's a tiny weeny little one. <laughs> Good size of that one. <laughs> he is tiny. But he went off like the clappers. He was off somewhere, mate, weren't you? You had somewhere to be. And they got all the spines on the back of them as well. Cool, they're proper sharp. 
and true to form, they're called small eye ray because they've got little tiny eyes. <laughs> you've got small eyes. Right, I need to keep an eye on that other rod because there was definitely some action going on there. I'm going to get this little critter back. The smaller they are, the more fragile they are. Beautiful markings on them though. And they got like that gilt feathered edge. I can't show you because his eye's so small and the light won't pick it up. But they've got an amazing eye on them. Right, I'm going to take a quick picture of this one and I'm going to get this one back. Come on, mate, let's take a picture of you. Because you're pretty. You're pretty little Ray. Okay, flippy, flippy, flappy. I can see you. I'll get you back. I haven't baited up and got back out yet and the other rod's going. Just had a pull down on this rod. You can see the line, my shock lead is just swinging in the breeze there. I haven't even got the, the other one baited up. There might be one on there, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, we might have another one on. This one's got the double sand eel on a pulley, so this is a bigger bait. And if they're that small, it might have taken it a while to get this one down. Mind you saying that? They've got a little bit of zoom in them, these things. <laughs> they are fun. They're good fun fish to catch. Give a good count for themselves for how small they are. What have we got this time? The pulley rig, obviously the fish weights the um oh no! <laughs> there we go. Bigger bait. Guess what we got? Got a doggy on the beach! <laughs> That's quite a chunky doggy actually. Um yeah, we got ourselves a doggy. I've got no rods in the water now. It's all go. Nice to see it busy. Right, where's my disgorger? Because he's had this a little while, I think. That first bite, I reckon he had that straight away. The panels aren't good for a doggy, really. Let's get this up. There we go. There we go. All out, let's get that out of the way. Got two rigs on the beach now. So we don't want too many of these, but that last bite was Mr. Dogfish. And flippy floppy tail. Um, yeah, tell your mates, go home. <laughs> get this one back in. Get them back in. All right, let's get you gone, mate. It's going crackers. I've got no rigs out. <laughs> Everything's on the beach at the moment. Both rods are up in the rest. So I'm going to get myself baited up and get this back out. Um, high water slack. If the doggy starts showing too much, it won't be too much fun there, I don't think. Um, but yeah, the rays are certainly there, aren't they? Right, let's get baited up and get back out. And this one's starting to get banged about. There we go, there's something there. Yeah, there's something there. Oh, gotta be careful, because I'm near the rocks and the groins. My last cast wasn't the most accurate. Um, I was even worried that I was going to cross over the groin, but let's see what we've got going on here. This is nothing, something else that's energetic again. Are we talking about the same thing? Oh, it's in the surf. It doesn't want to come in, whatever it is. Yep, yeah, it's another small life. <laughs> They're on fire tonight. 
another small light. That was an energetic one. Go on, bub. Let's go we'll get you unhooked. Oh, yeah, right in the lip. Right in the outer lip. Tiny hook, half a sand deal. I haven't got my other rod out yet. Let's just get this hook out. Right, the hook's just falling out. <laughs> Let's have a look. Get some light on. Sorry, you're all in darkness, aren't you? Let's get some light in. Ooh, there's the light. Another one. <laughs> Another small-eyed ray. This one was an energetic one. He started to actually fight off and take off. He wasn't stripping line. He just—he was just off. He was off on one. And is that another female? Every one that's come out this evening, every one of these has been a female. See that? Very small. I don't know what these weigh. I wouldn't even want to weigh it. And they're certainly not the eight pounders that you need for a specimen. They're really frisky. Really energetic, but it's nice to see. It's nice to see this many fish about after what feels like ages with nothing. It's been hard work the last few months. Um, we're still waiting for the hounds to show properly, but in the meantime, the small eyed rays are here. All right, I need to sort that rig out. On fire. That rig's doing really well. Two hook clip down. Gorgeous evening. I'm loving it. Really enjoying this evening. It's chilly, but it's not too cold. Just, just the slightest chill in the air. Um, keep your hands dry, keep them warm. We're spring, but we're not quite there yet, are we? We're not into the warm weather yet. Other than that, I need to get this out and get going again. Left rod's got double sand deal on it, and it's just pulled over. There's something there. I hope it's not a doggy. I heard the clicker go off. Yeah, there's something there. I did hear the clicker go. But the drags are set very light. Oh. Yeah, there's something there. Oh. Might be a doggy this one, I don't know. Feels a bit more weight to it. Some of these doggies have been pretty chunky as of late. Oh, I don't know. This might be a better ray. Yeah, got a bit more, a bit more going this one. This might be a better ray. Right, I'm going to have to go down to the beach for this one, down to the water's edge. This feels like a better fish. And it's kiting off to my left as well. Where are you? Oh, surf brought that in. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's a spotted. It's a spotted ray. <laughs> Cracker. I love the spotted ray. They're one of my favourites. Oh, he's got some thorns on him. I say that. Is that a spotted or yeah? It is. I thought that might have been a small blonde for a minute. Yeah, it's a male spotted ray. He's got some proper thorns on this one. Let's give you a show. Come on, bub. Oh, God, he's got some proper thorns on him. I can hear his teeth gnashing away. He's proper angry. Testosterone fueled spotted ray. Look at that little bad boy. See where the hook is. Oh, yeah, right in the corner. And it was the panel that nabbed you that time. Let's get this out, mate. There we go, that's out. Made a right mess of that double sand eel and squid. Uh, sorry, double sand eel, never had no squid, did I? I ain't even using sand hill. And this one is a male, which explains why he was so feisty. That was a proper bite, that one. Look at the size of his conkers. 
if I had conkers in proportion to my body that size, I'd be carrying them in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Have a look at him. Oh, get a stone off. He's quite feisty, this one. Let's just see what he's got. He's got his crushing pad. You don't want to get your fingers in there, by the way. It's probably not a good idea, you, me showing you that. But, yeah, spotted ray. What an absolute stunner. Cracking. I haven't had a spotted ray in a while. I'll put that on my species. Let's get, um, yeah. Hang on, mate. Just take a quick picky. Just a quick picture. That's it, you got it. Yeah, interesting night's fishing. <gasps> Tonight, it's all happening. All on Sunday, I haven't got anything else. Didn't bring anything else. Um, get my head torch sorted. I'm gonna go and get this critter back in the water and get my rig sorted, get myself back out there. Because I've, I've actually managed to keep one rod in the water at the moment. There's a baited rod out and it's the two hook clipped with little tiny sand hills on, half a sand hill. Um, I'm gonna get this spotted ray back in the back in the water. No? Left rod's only been out a couple of minutes. I'm struggling to keep both rods in the water at the moment. That looks a bit doggyish to me though. Something's having a something's having a go at that left rod. Yeah, it looks a bit doggyish, doesn't it? Smashing up my lovely double sand eel bait. Something's having a go at it, isn't it? That literally just was cast out and it almost started going straight away. It must have landed on top of something. something there and there. Looks a bit doggyish to me. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, it's got a bit of something to it. Unless it's just an angry doggy. Keeping an eye on my other rod as well. It's been that lively and the bites have been really good. Let's go down the water's edge to see what this is. There's a bit of an undertow here. It's not coming in easy. Even if it is a doggy, uh, still some ways out as well. Uh, beating me up a little bit actually, if I'm honest. It'd be funny if it is a doggy, wouldn't it? Uh, getting beaten up by a doggy. Or if I picked up my other line. Let's have a look. We're getting closer now. Almost on to shock leader. What have we got? Oh, no, it's a better. It's another spotted, isn't it? It is as well. It's another spotted. That's why it's frisky. A female spotted. Bit more chunk to this one as well. Let's put you down there a sec. Let's get one clipped. Spotted's always give a good account of themselves for the size that they are. Right, 
This is the exact same rig that had the last spotted, so it is a pool, you spiky, proper spiky. Um, yeah, it's the same rig, so it's a five foot pulley, five foot pulley, and another spotted look. Spotted number two. Oh no, it is a male. Yeah, big claspers, look, big clangers. You could almost say that might have been the same one as last time. <laughs> So that is the panel hook out, and I might have to just get my disgorger just to get that other one. These are only size 3 hooks. Let's see if it will come out. But this one's got some proper thorns on it as well. Right, let's get that disgorger. Where are you? Wait, I'll put you up. Oh, he nearly got me then. <laughs> There we go, hooks out. So I'm gonna have a quick look, see. Proper frisky. Proper frisky. Have a look at that piece at the end, sensory organ. I don't know the technical name for it, but it's clear. You can see through it, look. It's like jelly. And this one was, he's got a proper angry go to him. Um, massive set of claspers. And pound for pound for the size they are, look at him, he's so, he's bristling. He's got all of these thorns down the side of his cheeks. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but he's got them on his cheeks. And they're like rose, and they're like rose thorns, they hook backwards. Even on the edges there, look. Amazing. Right, I'm going to get this critter in, spotted ray number two. Absolute dancer. Thank you, Mr. Ray. You're a cracker. Oh, that was a splosh. Mm. And he's turned and he's gone. <sighs> he sort of slipped out of my slipped out of my hands a little bit as I went to put him in. He sort of flipped over. Um, but he righted himself and then powered off straight away. Really frisky fish tonight. Um, right. Bait up and go again. <laughs> it's a cracker tonight, isn't it? What an interesting night. So I didn't expect that. Um, all of the fish on the small side, except the spotted, because for their species, the spotted were reasonable fish. Um, but small, small eye. So I lost count how many I've had. I'm going to check through the footage. I don't know if it was six, seven or eight. And I definitely lost one close in and a doggy and two spotted rays. So whatever way you bake that noodle, it's been a good night. So I'm fishing out the bait on one rod. I've packed the other one away. My tummy's rumbling, the tide's changed. The bites have slowed down, albeit, let's just have a quick check of that rod. We've still got one out there, but even that's gone quiet. I mean, before I couldn't keep two rods in the water. They were just going crazy. All of those fish came, in fact, it was pretty steady throughout the session. Started fishing three hours before high water, and I think the majority of them came the hour before high and slack high. The spotted appeared at slack high, which, unusual. Definitely unusual, but nice to see two spotted ray come out. So that's about me. I'm done. I'm baked. So I'm in the process of packing up. I haven't got a lot tonight because I didn't put the shout up or anything like that. Um, if you like this sort of content, if you like what I do, please follow, like, subscribe, comment. I love the comments. If, if nothing else, you know, seriously, guys and girls, if when, you, when we interact and comment, I learn so much. It helps my fishing loads. I get so many tips from you guys. Um, but yeah, so from me, from here, for now, and from the uh, small lights, who were prolific tonight, um, it's goodbye. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Back again. <laughs> so I did just reel in that last rod, and I had a sleeper. I had a third spotted ray. And I think, actually, he's the chunkiest out of the three.
I didn't even see the bite on this one. He was just sat there munching away on my sand eel. Um, there it is, look, just it, literally in the corner of his mouth there, look. That hook, straight out, literally just fell out there. Um, yeah, so another frisky male. I don't know if the tide changing has changed the way they're feeding or the way that they're interacting because there was no bite. There was nothing there at all. But he's a chunky spotted. He's a nice spotted actually. What a cracker. So what a way to finish. So sorry, this is me now leaving from me, from Mr. Spotty. It's goodbye. Bye for now. <laughs>